Your whole name is what? Is what? Uh, Chukwe Buka Nekuchi. Okay, okay. Now, are you, uh, Jack was saying that, that uh, you're, are you Nigerian? Are you... A... Well, I'm, I'm first generation American. I my, see. My family you're American is Nigerian. citizen. Yeah. Okay. And you went to, you uh, came up in New York. Yeah. And uh, tell me a little bit about uh, how the season is going for you. Uh, so far, it's been pretty good. I mean, indoors, I tried my hand at the weight, you know, for the first time competitively for the school. Yeah. And I want to pretty nicely finish third in NCAAs with a throw of 7110. Uh, and shot, mm -hmm. I threw 1866, which is uh, 61 feet, uh, 11 inches. So that was really close to my high school PR. Outdoors, I had a rough. With a much bigger ball. Right? Eight, four pounds heavier. So it's a, yeah. it, was, it was a load. We got stronger the redshirt year. So um, I just now beat my high school PR of 62-4 with the 16, 62-6 at the regional meet to qualify for this. And the hammer, my best mark was the first one, which was 64-94, about 213 feet. So it's been a pretty good season so, so you, far. So you feel like you, um, you're better at the weight throw than the hammer? Uh, generally, that's how it is. Uh, yeah. I mean, the, the hammer. But it's takes, all new to you still, anyway. So relatively, yeah, yeah. It, it takes patience. I don't, I don't have much patience. You need finesse and technique, things like that. I have all the base strength that I need, but it's yeah. just the motor patterns and, and actual right. good technique that, that I'm lacking most. So that's that's what we work on. Well, to be with. here in the hammer and the shot, I mean, there's certainly some rotational aspects, but those are different. Very different. Very different things. <laughs> Very hard. Well, how do you how are you able to combine those in, into such a high level of both? Uh, I got lucky. I don't know. I I had marks that were, you know, that were good enough for the meet. That that's how I feel. Uh, a lot of people do both, a lot of people do three, a lot of people do four. So I just feel like at the moment I had marks that were good enough for the meet and I, I feel lucky, I feel blessed to be here. Do you feel like you're better at one or the other? It's very tricky. I mean, do you think you're of yourself as a hammer thrower or also throw shot or vice versa? A lot of times I get asked that and I don't, I don't have a good answer. Uh, there are days, like the regional meet for example, I threw in 1905, big PR, it's a pretty solid mark. And I wound up 6306 in the hammer, so hammer is yeah. decent. You know, sometimes I'd get out and throw 18, and then I'd throw 64 in the hammer. So it's like it's it depends on the day, yeah. which is it's a good thing and a bad thing. It's double the workload, but the you know the good thing is that you can have those meets where they both line up. Yeah, and that's what we're hoping for. This Do you time. like coming to a meet like this, having two things to worry about, or whether you or is it a lot? I just feel blessed to be here. Uh, when I'm throwing the hammer, I'm only a hammer thrower. When I'm throwing the shot, I'm only a shot putter. So it's just, it's, it's good. I got friends in both events. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, so it's just, it's a good time. Yeah, we're going to write about Errol too. Um, did, did you guys compete in PSAL meets together? Uh, so when I was starting, I, I came in, I was throwing about 37 feet. Errol and his, uh, his teammates, Chad and, and Michael, were throwing 50. And I was just like, I got to be like them one day. They were seniors when I was coming in, sophomore year. So, you know, they, he wound up winning uh, the city championship and Errol was placing high and things like that. We stayed in touch after they graduated. So, it's, it's good to see them again. Uh, Errol, first time he broke 60, you know, at the regional meet. So, it's was, it was really good to see him again. Have you seen him here yet? No. Not yet. No, not at this meet, no. Yeah, yeah. Um, and now, did you, were you, did you go through Armory Prep at the, at the Armory? Yeah. You did? Yeah. So, you're one of the... One of the success stories of Armory Prep as well. Right, right. <laughs> it definitely helped me a lot. Definitely helped me a lot. Only place I can throw weight, you know. They got my things in line for me. Uh, you know, it was, it was just a very good, beneficial program. Yeah. Great coach to work with. What uh, do you study with? What do you study in, at Purdue? Uh, Law and Society. Law and Society. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What's and the I, plan there? I'm sorry. What's the plan there? I, I mean, we'll see after. I, I plan on going post collegiate, but we'll see after that. I'm thinking of going to family law, or something like that. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So is your, when you came out of Army Prep, did you get an athletic scholarship or an academic scholarship at Purdue? Uh, it was athletic. Athletic, yeah. okay. I mean, okay. I, you, you had to meet these requirements. Sure. I came in with three five, things like that. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. you know, you're, you make regular admission and the, just like any other school, sure. the, you know, it's sure. just an incentive. Yeah, yeah. So um, you, you got a PR just last, two weeks ago, I guess yeah. it was, in the shot. Um, how much encouragement do you take out of out of out of that coming here? That, you, that there's another one right around the corner. Well, uh, it was a great day. Uh, I feel like the weather here is going to be great. 
not much has changed since then. So, I mean, if I can throw a good one at the regional meet, I should be able to throw a good one at the national meet. So it's, you know, I, I, I'm very realistic about things, but I don't, I don't have much to be down about, you know what I mean? Like, I'm coming in, there's an upside in both events. So, you know, hopefully we just, we perform well. Yeah. Now you're a guy that's a compact guy. I'm not a very big person. Short, <laughs> short levers. <laughs> I would think that that's probably not a bad thing in the hammer because you could spin like a top. Well, uh, you... but at the, in the shot put, um, where do you where do you get your power from? I don't know. No, <laughs> I don't know. I have good general strength, uh, yeah. which can you can you know go be stronger through movements and things like that. So good weight room strength. Uh, we're working on basic technical aspects that'll, you know, just get the most out of my frame. So it's just a combination, but I think, honestly, I'm, I lean more on the strength-based side yeah. more than anything. What did your coach see that recruited you? What did they see in you as your strengths and, and why they thought you had potential? Obviously, 60. There's a few 60s out there. You know, I mean, and he had to come from Purdue to find you. What, what did he tell you and what, what have you really enhanced? Since uh, you well, I mean, height wasn't really a a problem when he was recruiting. He was just looking for somebody who puts the implements out there. There's many ways to do it. I don't right. You're talking hammer. I mean, the world record holder is about 5'11". You know, things like that. It's right. Height's just one factor. There's ways around it. So that wasn't a, a problem. The thing was, uh, he was pretty impressed with my strength levels, which so we've only improved you're, you're, since I've started working with the uh, coach at Purdue. Uh, and just the fact that I was able to project the ball in such a short amount of time. I picked up the hammer in just about four months, just kind of as a background to the shop. And uh, and it's we kind of leveled it off uh, recently. So, outside of this, what's what are your athletic? What's your athletic background? Uh, Were you a football player? No, not much. I I did track to kind of get in shape. Uh, I don't know. I would like. I was made fun of, kind of things like that. I was a little chubby, so I thought like joining a team. I was thinking wrestling, uh, and then the track coach found me first, so I joined the track team. And I'm, I'm kind of like I get obsessive with things, so I went online. I looked at all the great throwers, and you know, and then it just came from there. Yeah. In the PSAL, though, I mean, it's all about sprints, right? I mean, yeah. when you start picking up a shot put, or I don't know if you don't discus, but. What did you What did you think of those the first time you tried to compete with them? Uh, the first time, I mean, the shot looked like kind of an oddball event. I mean, we all competed in the armory, so everybody's there running the sprints. You know, guys getting ready for distance races, the jumps in the center, and then off to the side, there's a cage where people are throwing balls. You know, what I mean? it's like it was weird at first, but then I'm like, okay, you can make a competition out of anything. And the more I got to love it, the more I realized that there's a lot of work to do, and that's that's what made it more fun. So at first it was a little weird, but then I look at the guys throwing far, and it's like, you know, if you can do that. You find out you're really good at it anyway. I'm yeah. decent. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, not great yet. Oh, you're on your way. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank good you. luck this week. Yeah. Fun to watch you. Thank you. Yeah,